here we are fellas this is the build video that's going to show all the details of how this heli was built uh, it was finished today and uh, got its maiden flight today and the icon fly barless unit has been dialed in the uh, flight was amazing the heli is light on its feet and handles quite majestically for what it is i was quite impressed uh, compared to some of the other new top name brand ones compared to this one let's get to it first thing you're going to notice is this is a 600E style frame it is carbon fiber the base plate motor mount or rear electronics mount and tail mount are all metal the main shaft bearing blocks are all metal um, this is, has been modified from the 6S setup to be a 12S setup uh, the frames have been modified to fit the Scorpion uh, 4025 generation 3 um, 550 kV motor in you'll notice that it has the align uh, 112 tooth uh, bevel cut pinion and uh, main gear in there the pinion is a 12 tooth pinion the speed controller is an ice 2 high voltage 80 amp ESC from Castle Creations uh, it is bolted to the bottom tray. It is not Velcroed or adhesive or zip tied in. And directly behind it, you can't quite see from this angle, but if I come around, you'll see it back here, is the Castle Creations BEC. It is the BEC Pro. Uh, it is running on 6S of the 12S setup. You'll notice that the tail mount, which is metal, has grommets around all the screws to help support the load against the carbon fiber. Just one more little extra added benefit to help it be a little more structurally sound. And you also notice that all the wires for the servos have been wrapped in the neon yellow wire wrap with heat shrinks on either end. The canopy mounts are the quick release style. We have metal servo horns all the way around. There's absolutely no slop in any of the linkage system from the servo cleanup to the head. All servos are mounted with servo plates to help make the screws spread the surface area out and hold them more sound. You'll notice that this is a DFC head from a line on a 600E heli. Now, normally this would not fit, but uh, the main shaft has been uh, modified uh, to make it the shorter necessary length, and the new hole is created for the top for the head to bolt onto and the main arms on the head have had the little link in between the the high end and the main arm removed to get the proper spacing. Um, unlike the pro head we are still running a uh, swash plate anti-rotation bracket which is carbon fiber and metal as well. The servos are all DS610 uh, servos the swash plate is the DFC Pro swash plate. It is a very nice swash plate. There's absolutely no binding, and I get about 15 degrees collective, positive, and negative before anything uh, maxes out on my throws. Uh, I have it adjusted to fit 13, but for somebody who feels that uh, 15 is necessary, it is possible. The upper ba uh, battery tray is also metal. Moving back through here, the main gear anti-rotation bearing hub in the center had to be one that was designed for the DFC Pro as it would not fit, or the original 600D would not fit on the new style main gear. The tail support rods are carbon fiber. The tail tube is polished to a mirror finish. Tail servo is an aligned DS650 with metal gears. The tail control rod supports are all metal. Both tail fins are carbon fiber. Back here we have KBDD Extreme 2 102 millimeter tail blades on the version 2 uh, tail rotor hub. And you also notice that the belt drive tail has the new style tail from Align which has the dual pivot point cantilever set up which eliminates any binding whatsoever as the pitch is given positive or negative. 
This is a common issue I run into when I build other helis, and there's no workaround for it unless we go to an aftermarket setup. Whenever giving max or min pitch right off center, uh, the linkage starts to bind when it's only on one single bell crank. We rotate the heli around and look at the other side. I was maidening this heli on a DSM-2 satellite, but the satellite has been removed as I'm not sure uh, what the buyer who purchases the heli will want the setup for. So as you can see on the Icon fly wireless unit, there is two ports right there designed for whatever satellite's necessary. It can do Futaba or DSM-2, DSM-X, or you can just use your regular receiver and wire it in normally. There, are, there is plenty of space in here for more wiring. All wires on the entire heli have been either wrapped in wire loom or uh, have been trimmed short to make them proper length and not a bunch of excess. There is no bulk in any of the wiring and the whole unit is fully serviceable, does not require a lot of work to take apart. Uh, the wires are routed properly so that servos can be removed with minimal effort and the tail section can be removed without I happen to undo a bunch of wires. The BEC is wired in separate with bullets so that the ESC can be disconnected while still powering the BEC to adjust the servos, the fly barless unit, or whatever necessary. It is again powered off just one of the batteries, so that is something to keep in note. The custom Y harness is using the XT60 uh, battery connectors. They do work wonderful. I'm not getting any, any issues with them whatsoever. Um, you'll also notice that the heli sits very low. I have the Align Black Shark 700 uh, landing skids on it to really get this thing smacked down to the ground. The main blades are 600 millimeter. Maverick G5 Pros. They are not the fly barla style. They are the straight normal style. And they are fantastic handling blades. If you have any further questions on this heli, by all means feel free to reach out to me and ask and I will gladly answer them. Uh, 